this is a fantastic day for the ACA. And whilst it might not have been the biggest piece of the ship that they put into position, it's certainly the one of the most impressive. And we're beginning to see now that iconic silhouette that's going to be for this carrier at 65,000 tonnes when it comes to completion. We can now really see the carrier begin to take shape. We've all seen the pictures, we've all seen the, the mock-ups on the CAD, but now you can see that iconic silhouette behind us. Well, it's a fantastic day for us. It's, it's uh, you know, the biggest ship that's been built, biggest military ship that's been built in Britain since, well, the biggest big ship that's been built in Britain. And um, fantastic, a really huge day for the, for the dockyard and all the Alliance partners. Well, we're now on to the second ship. So from a Portsmouth perspective, uh, the island was the, the last piece of Queen Elizabeth. We're now on with centre block two, which we've recently cut steel on. And we're also building lower block two, some 6,000 tonnes, which comes out of Portsmouth in July. So we're well on with the, with the second ship. On the Clyde, we're really looking forward to see UB14 come across in May. Uh, and they're working really hard on LBO 3 and 4, which are the two of the largest sections of the ship uh, for the second ship as well. We've been working really closely with the Babcock's team on the island. Uh, we've really looked and worked together jointly to understand how we transition the block from the build yard in Portsmouth to the integration yard. Uh, and we've been working together for a number of months to make sure that that transition runs really smoothly. Well, it's a fantastic uh, privilege to be here today uh, in Rosyth, and it's even better that the weather's held off for the occasion. Um, this is uh, an awesome uh, piece of kit and to see this ship coming together, having watched some of the blocks being built uh, in different yards around the UK, uh, having seen them being floated out from those yards and now to see uh, this uh, huge structure coming together uh, as a British uh, warship, as a testament to the skills and the dedication of British craftsmen and workmen and British designers uh, is a truly uh, pride-inspiring uh, moment. I want to acknowledge the huge contribution that the workforces of all the yards around the country that have been involved in building these blocks uh, have made to this project. And I want to pay a huge tribute to all of you here who are bringing this uh, ship together uh, to build what will be the Royal Navy's largest uh, ever ship. Uh, it is of vital strategic importance to the United Kingdom that we re regenerate our carrier strike capability and we will be regenerating it in style uh, with this ship. It's a huge privilege uh, to be able to place, or at least to set in train, the placing uh, of this forward island. Uh, and I'd say again, it's big, it's British, and it's being built here in Scotland and you should all be immensely proud of that fact. Thank you. Having the, having the forward island put on it just makes this look like a ship. Um, I, I'm part of the ship's company, we've been building it since, well, for, for over a year now. But having the forward island on just makes her look like a warship. 
It's fantastic, actually. Everybody really, really rallies together. It's been described as a block up until now. I think that makes it HMS Queen Elizabeth. And today is just a great, it's a great achievement, really. We're really thrilled. Because you've seen it from the start, it's just a big square, then it goes into bits and bobs, then this, that, and the next thing, when the islands and the sponsors get put on, it starts to look like a ship. Then when that's getting put on, uh, it looks more like a ship to me. <laughs> like, it looks good now. Well, it's, uh, it's going to be immense, isn't it? Uh, once I get this one done, and then basically once the second one's done, Britain will be a, a better force. Yes, good for the MOD, good for the Navy, and all the forces. I'm one of the old boys, you know, sort of thing, but uh, it's quite proud to see this happening, and it's good to see a lot of the youngsters getting keen somewhat. You know, they'll never see this again, I don't think.